These six individuals have made the choice to work, the choice to sacrifice, put themselves on the line, represent you, this high school. This is your team. Hoosiers. They needed a second chance to finish first. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the championship game. You're not the new coach. Are you expecting somebody different? <laughs> Younger. Most incredible and improbable confrontation. Well, those of you who don't know, my name is Norman Dale. I coached college ball for 10 years, but it's been 12 years since I've blown this. In the illustrious history of the Indiana High School basketball tournament. That's a hell of a team you had there. You knew that team? I know everything there is to know about the greatest game ever invented. With a pint size hardly big enough for three syllables, Hickory Huskers enrolled at 64. Out of here, right now. You kicking me out? Yes. Don't come back until you learn to keep your mouth shut and listen. Take on the defending state champions, the Mighty Bears of South Bend Central. Run you off the boards. You got to squeeze them back in the paint. Make them chuck it from the cheap seats. Already calling this the game of the century. I've seen them, the real sad ones. They sit around the rest of their lives talking about the glory days. News people from all over the Middle West are here to witness Hoosierland's version of the Cinderella story. It's got to work out this time. Now that's it for good. The starting lineup for the Huskers. Well, my boys only know basketball farming in school. A basketball hero around here is treated like a god. You know, most people would kill be treated like a god just for a few moments. Forget about the crowds, the size of the school, their fancy uniforms, and remember what got you here. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. Let's win this and for all the small schools who never had a chance to get here. Gene Hackman, Barbara Hershey, Dennis Hopper, Hoosiers, they needed a second chance to finish first. One of those things that happened once in a lifetime, I guess, where we had um, a group that had played together basically for seven, six, seven years. Uh, they were a group that was fairly closely knit in, uh, in the community. My next door neighbor, everybody was neighbor in Pierceville, where I'm from. There's only 45 people there. But my next door neighbor, Glenn Butts, and I uh, uh, hooked up a light outside, and we had a goal outside my, uh, my house, and Madison and Jasper were playing in the state tournament and he would be Jasper and I would be Madison and then we change back and forth and we listen to the state tournament and, and uh, we uh, kind of played along as we were listening to it and that's really the first time that I uh, can recall of getting absolutely interested in the state tournament. Uh, the great story about Milan was when Bobby Plump held the ball for three and a half minutes Marvin Wood said he had him hold the ball because he was trying to think of something to do the previous year, we'd gone to the Final Four, and we had a number of players returning. So uh, we slipped up on people in 1953. Everyone knew that we were around beginning the 1954 season. Four minutes left in the ballgame. The score, Muncie 28, Milan 26. And Bobby Plump holds the ball. And I believe we're going to have, we'll probably have a timeout here in a minute. We're down to three minutes and 40 seconds. Three minutes and 39 seconds. We're getting another boy ready to come into the ball game. And we'll see what's going to be. Wendelman's coming in in a moment. A timeout. Timeout. Milan will take it out now, mid-court. Three minutes and 26 seconds. Muncie leads 28 to 26. And Plump's going to hold that ball now. And uh, he holds it out there, looking over to Marvin Wood. As uh, Milan... Now starts to go into a weave. They're starting to put the ball in play. 
through at the slump, slump behind the circle, feeds out to his craft, craft fake, back out the slump, behind the circle, three minutes and one second, we're in the last three minutes of the ball game now, then he fouled out two, two shots, as it goes to his foot, back out the slump, he shoots from behind the circle, and misses, puts the rebound, going to Barnes and Munsey, over it goes to Avalano, and now Munsey is on the offense. As uh, Milan goes into the defensive pattern here, over it goes, and back out to Avalano, but out of bounds, and called out to Milan. Threw it back to Kraft, Kraft behind the circle, over to Plump, Plump holding, faking, back out to Kraft, Kraft holds the ball, over to White, then back to Kraft, who fakes, jumps, and behind the circle, scores. Get on the side. There's a shot from the corner by Flowers. It's no good. Hines picks it up. No good. Crawford, no good. Rebound goes to Myers. And got out of there nicely now. Like that. Four times. 28 to 28. A minute and 50 seconds left in the ball game. Flash has the ball. Holding it for Myers. Giving to Bobby Trump. He is fouled by Barnes. Trump is just shooting for Myers. A minute and 42 seconds left. Trump shooting two for the Milan Indians, and the score tied, 28 to 28. Hudson is good, it's 29 to 28. As Bobby Trump gets ready for the next one, in the air, good. 30 to 28, a two-point lead for Milan. Ball set down court, broken up by Milan. Milan breaks it up, as Trump starts to bring the ball down, over the 10-second line. Trump takes it over, a minute and 29 seconds. Milan leads by two points. As it goes over to Bobby Trump, Trump with Milan dribbling around out in the middle, trying to get through. Bobby Trump keeps dribbling around as he brings the ball out. Down it goes to White, a minute and 13 seconds. Trump has the ball for Milan, gives it to Ray Kraft. Kraft goes down in, under, shoots, and throws over to the shooting now. A minute left in the ball game, 30 to 28. Has the ball going to Muncie. Muncie has the ball over on the side to Hines. Hines holds the ball in the corner. And it's broken up. But received by Barnes. Start off. Flowers just and scores. Four ties. 30 to 30 with 45 seconds left in the ball game. Not only was my heart in my throat, but I didn't want the coach to call timeout because I certainly didn't want to return to the bench and uh, although Mr. Wood never mentioned it he did not mention it he was more concerned that that was something that w had happened that he can't change and so his thinking was to hey how can we win the game I think the decision that Ray made was a good decision it just happened that the ball didn't go in and uh, we got the we got the ball back and we got another opportunity. The only thing that was registering that I can recall was that there was my man in front of me that was guarding me and I knew that I had to beat him either to drive all the way or stop and shoot the jump shot. He's dribbling around 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Bobby Trump dribbling 6 seconds. Trump going down, jump, shoots from the circle. Goal! 